every time we have a debate about fiscal spending, it always comes out to we have you know 19 trillion dollars of debt. How do we pay for it? And, and, and Stephanie actually you know, addressed that really well. But I want to show you the mechanics of that really quickly. Because the moment you start saying $19 trillion, the moment you start quoting deficits, you've already lost the debate, right? You've already constrained yourself by rules that have been designed for your personal household or corporation, but are not the type of rules that a sovereign government uses for its balance sheet. So I have here a 20, because I almost never carry cash, so it's shocking. It works better with a $1 bill. But like, what is this, right? Like, I mean, what, what is this thing we have in our hand, I, I have in my hand? Look, this is zero coupon perpetual debt. That's what this is. This is a liability of the United States government. And it's a liability as stated in the Federal Reserve Act of 1913, but it doesn't exchange for anything except for other pieces of paper, right? But it is zero coupon perpetual debt. What are the treasury securities market? The market I worked in for a long time and still continue to work in. That is what we call finite debt. Okay? That is debt with a maturity, with an interest rate. And what you see up here is something that you can find just doing three minutes of a Google search. Right? Uh, this is the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. Uh, I, I always find that interesting about people calling to audit the Fed and so on. When, they publish their balance sheets really in detail. It's, it's, it's available and there's a ton of information. So what's, look on the asset side. What is that you know, $2.4 trillion asset line? Those are US treasuries, because um, they say so. Um, what's on the liability side? Federal Reserve notes in circulation, about $1.35 trillion. Well, what are Federal Reserve notes in circulation? It's this. It's this stuff, right? It's this balance sheet that converts finite maturing debt into perpetual debt. And the back and forth movement of that is the job of this central bank. So this concept that we can't afford debt is like saying we can't afford this. And it's kind of a ludicrous concept, right? Um, so the moment you start saying things like $19 trillion or, or we have all of this debt maturing or interest costs, you've already kind of fenced yourself in in the debate about fiscal policy. Because this is what a combined federal balance sheet really looks like, right? At the bottom, you have the Treasury. And the Treasury's assets are the people's assets. Right? <laughs> it is national parks and federal land and taxable income and loan programs we make. And the liabilities are Treasury securities. But look, what's the Federal Reserve's assets? It's Treasury securities. And what's its liabilities? These notes and the reserves that banks keep at the Fed. So that diagonal relationship is never well understood or particularly well discussed, or maybe it's well understood but just not discussed, right? 